In order to use an API, you must first authenticate with it. And authentication is a method to prove to the external system that you are who you say you are and that you have access to the data from the account that you're trying to connect to. So for example, if you're creating a front connector that retrieves Shopify data from your Shopify account, you'll have to go to Shopify and generate some sort of credential that proves that that front connector should be able to access your data through the Shopify API. If we, you know, we're, we're trying to look for how to generate that Shopify credential, what we might do is search for Shopify's developer docs. And then within there, we're looking for a topic that might be titled authentication or API keys or getting started or credentials, something along those lines. So under this API and references section, I might be wanting to connect to the storefront API. And here I see an authentication topic. I see an access token topic. So it looks like, like Shopify's API has this concept of public and private access tokens, which if I read through this, I can figure out how to generate it from within Shopify system, and I can take those credentials and input them into, into the front connector so that that connector could use Shopify's API. Similarly, we have a, uh, the same concept for Front's API. Uh, as, as we've mentioned, this authentication section shows that we have OAuth, we have Front API tokens. These specific topics show you how to generate those in Front. And you don't need to know the differences between all these authentication topics uh, or authentication methods to use front connectors. It's just important to remember, go to the developer docs, find out how to generate them, and then you can input them into, into, the, into the front connector. So for example, in front, if I was to generate a standalone API token, I would go to the API tokens page under my developer settings. I, do create API token, and then I would generate some unique key that I could use in, in a connector. And uh, another thing I'll show you while we're here is if you were you know, to have a developer app that leveraged a connector, the place that you would input your, your credentials would be here under servers. So when you create a new server, you specify a domain. So you might be, like I said, trying to connect to uh, Shopify and might look something like this. And then you would specify your authentication strategy. Maybe it's a, a basic key or maybe it's a bear token and you could add your, your actual values in here, but um, it could be OAuth and you would input your client ID, your client secret, all, all, all the things that you generated from, from that external system to prove uh, that you are who you say you are and that you have access to their API.